Tudor house would have started its life in the forest, where freshly felled green oak, elm or ash was drawn into the framing yard. Here the timber would be converted either by hand sawing or the use of an adze. The timber was cut and jointed into frames that were used to build the house. These were then taken apart and moved to where the house was to be built. Let's take a look at some of the key techniques the Tudor house builder used to construct his frames. For the Tudor carpenter, the most important joint was probably the mortise and tenon. These joints formed the basis of all timber framed houses. Even a small house will contain a large number of them. Together they collectively strengthen the structure. The joint consists of a tenon, a tongue cut onto a piece of wood, which is inserted into a slot or mortise cut into the other. The whole is then held together by the insertion of an oak peg. The holes to receive the peg are not quite in line and the insertion of the peg draws the joint together providing additional stiffness to the joint. One of the most elegant and essential joints in the construction of a timber frame building is the tie beam lap joint. A post, like this, rises to the full height of the wall. The top is shaped with a jowl to support the uppermost timber of each wall, or wall plate. This is attached using a mortise and tenon. An additional tenon is cut onto the post to connect with the tie beam. The tie beam stretches across the width of the building and literally ties the two sides of the house together. This is dovetailed into the wall plate. Once the frame is complete, the spaces between the timbers needs to be filled. At Harvard House, wattle and daub was originally used to do this. Holes about an inch in diameter were drilled in the bottom of the top timber. A groove is made in the lower timber. Sharpened oak staves are now inserted into these. Ash, cleft oak or hazel wattles are woven around these upright sticks. Daub, a mixture of clay, dung and straw was spread onto both sides. The completed panel was then painted or whitewashed. If you look after wattle and daub it will last indefinitely.